I'm tasked with an exceedingly difficult um, task in disclosing the manner of, of um, the way my mother chose not to continue to live. I will share with you that she used a weapon. Mother used a firearm. Ashley Judd in tears, revealing her mother Naomi's cause of death. Mother used a firearm. So that's the piece of information that we are very uncomfortable sharing, but understand that we're in a position that, uh, you know, if we don't say it, someone else is, is going to. It's Ashley's first interview since Naomi died on April 30th at the age of 76, which we know now was a result of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. In an emotional pre-taped interview with ABC News' Diane Sawyer, Ashley opens up about her mom's battle with mental illness. My mother knew that she was seen and she was heard in her anguish and that, um, that she, she, she was walked home. When we're talking about mental illness, it's very important to, and to be clear and to make the distinction between our loved one and the disease. It's very real, and it's an, it, is, it is enough to, it, it's a, it lies, it's savage. Ashley then goes into detail about Naomi's final day. I was at the house visiting as I am every day, and mom said to me, will you stay with me? And I said, of course I will. Ashley went outside to bring in a comforting person who had arrived when she came back. I went upstairs to let her know that the friend was there and I discovered her. I have both grief and trauma from, um, from discovering her. My mother, our mother, couldn't hang on until she was inducted into the Hall of Fame by her peers. Ashley's referring to the Country Music Hall of Fame. Naomi died the night before she and her daughter, Winona, who make up the country duo, The Judds, were slated to be inducted. At the ceremony, Ashley and Winona put on brave faces to accept the honor and pay tribute to their late mother. My mama loved you so much, and she appreciated your love for her, and I'm sorry that she couldn't hang on until today. Um, I'm gonna make this fast because my heart's broken, and I feel so blessed, and it's a very strange dynamic to be this broken and this blessed. I mean, that is the level of catastrophe of what was going on inside of her, because the, the, the barrier between the regard in which they held her couldn't penetrate into her heart, and the lie that the disease told her was so convincing. But at the end of the day, Ashley wants people to remember Naomi for her big heart. She was a brilliant conversationalist. She was a star. She was an underrated songwriter. And she was someone who suffered from mental illness, you know, and had a lot of trouble getting off the sofa, except to go into town every day to the Cheesecake Factory where all the staff knew and loved her. That's the, the way she was. And she always had $100 bills stuffed in her bra, and she was passing them out to the janitorial staff. You know, just an unfailingly kind, sensitive woman. And one thing's for sure, Naomi had so much love for her two daughters. In the early 90s, the country music legend opened up to E.T. about the close bond with her daughters, which only grew stronger as the years went on. Boy, you get the three of us together and we are just, we're like three high-spirited horses. We just have this exponential strength to us. It's phenomenal, the three. I tell, tell the girls that the triangle, you know, is the strongest structure. And I think because we've been through everything together, the joys and the triumphs. And it's what I try to tell people that in our struggles, triumphs, and tragedies, you, you get the glimpse of your own.